Hey there. Today, I want to talk about Maria Stinger, a pinup and men's magazine model who worked frequently with Bunny Yeager and who today is best remembered as Miami's Marilyn Monroe. Maria Stinger was born in Philadelphia in 1931 and left home at 17 to move to Miami. She began her career as a live swimwear model and soon began shooting with glamour photographers and playing up her resemblance to Marilyn Monroe. She dyed her hair blonde, she began kind of dressing self-consciously like Marilyn Monroe, and that really helped her career take off because in the early 1950s, there was no better calling card than a resemblance to Marilyn Monroe. So she's not that much remembered today, but Maria Stinger features frequently in the stories of icons of 1950s glamour photography. In fact, Bunny Yeager's first published photograph featured Maria Stinger. It appeared on the cover of a men's magazine called I Magazine. After they shot this photograph, the two really became close friends and they worked together for the rest of Stinger's career. But it wasn't just Bunny Yeager who um, shot Maria Stinger. It was also Irving Claw who shot her for some fetish photography. And I think Peter Gowland shot her and a lot of kind of the leading glamour photographers. But it was really, you know, Bunny Yeager who tried to make her name and promoted the heck out of her. In fact, Maria uh, Stinger was given the name Miami's Marilyn Monroe by Bunny Yeager. And then later, she actually won a Marilyn Monroe lookalike contest dressed in a recreation of the halter dress that Monroe wears in the seven year itch. So the moniker stuck after that. Let's just put it that way. Another thing that happened through Stinger's involvement with Jaeger was she met Sammy Davis Jr. Sammy Davis Jr. was an amateur shutterbug who actually took photography lessons from Bunny Jaeger because they knew each other from the nightlife scene in Miami and also the nightlife scene in New York when Marie, when, I'm sorry, when Bunny would come to New York for work. So the photograph that Sammy Davis Jr. took of Maria Stinger also appeared on a magazine cover. It appeared on a cover of a digest magazine called People Today. And I'm just putting that out there in case you ever want to impress your friends with some really obscure Sammy Davis Jr. trivia. There you go. So Maria got the best of being kind of a celebrity model, as you can hear. She attended a lot of parties at Sammy Davis Jr.'s penthouse in Miami. There's some great pictures from those parties, and I hope over the years I'll find more emerge in the Bunny Yeager archive. And she was really, really, really celebrated for her beauty. And that meant a lot to her. As her career waned, which careers wane pretty quickly in the modeling world, it was kind of hard for her to start losing that adoration and accolations. And she tried to retreat into home life. She stopped modeling herself as closely after Marilyn Monroe. She stopped dyeing her hair. She did keep working through the early 1960s, even starring in a very, very fun nudie cutie called Girls Come Too that I think you can find online pretty easily. But then after that, her career ended and reports are that she started behaving more erratically. She started drinking more. Um, I think she also did have a lot of time with her family, kind of like just doing normal person stuff. And I'm stammering over this, talking about this because Maria Stinger, like Marilyn Monroe, died by suicide at 36. And I think it's important to both mention that and also not just flatten her life into some dead blondes club thing. So I'm gonna let Bunny Yeager have the last word on Maria Stinger. Yeager compared Maria Stinger to Betty Page, who was of course Yeager's most famous model and her most popular. She said, when you finally got Maria out there. She really enjoyed posing. It was just like Betty. 
You hated it when you ran out of film because she was still going. So I guess we're all lucky that Bunny Yeager had as much film as she had. And I look forward to sharing more examples of it over the years with you all. Take care.